Okay, guys, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this because Marshall is being a grump for some reason. But I was going to show you how I kind of did my makeup. Start with a clinging face. And uh, I just use baby wipes to clean off my face. They work the best, so. This is me with no makeup. Mama. Here. No. I don't know what's wrong with him today. He's teething. He's got this tooth and this tooth coming in. And I think he has a back molar. I don't know. Oh, anyway, so clean face. And then I'm going to start with, I'm not going to do like a full coverage kind of thing. I'm just going to get my concealer. It's just uh, Maybelline. I, I don't really like it, but it serves its purpose for now. I'll try something else when it run out. And I just kind of cover up my rosacea with on my cheeks and underneath my eyes to brighten them up. And I kind of do a, the triangle thing everybody talks about. And right here and right here because it's kind of red. And then down my nose. For the freckles. Just pat that in. Oh, that's horrible lighting on my phone. I like to do my makeup over here because it's the it's natural light. No, no, you don't need that. Because of all the natural light. It's kind of patted in over the red areas. I'm looking in a mirror that's like right here, so in case you're wondering. I get right underneath there to get rid of my dark circles. Too much of my nose. take my foundation brush which is just one of them I got from Walmart E Eco Tools or something like that. It's bamboo whatever. It was the most dense brush they had so I'm going to just kind of blend this out. <sighs> he escaped. I'll be right back. Okay, I got him busy putting a towel in the dryer. He said you'd be cooper. So, okay. That's all blended in. Because you don't really see any harsh lines. And then, I'm going to take my bronzer which is by Rimmel Natural Bronze. Uh, the color is Sunlight 021. And I take my bronzer brush, which is another one I got from Walmart. And this kind of contour. I'm just doing a light, light contour. Because, I mean, I'm not going anywhere today that I know of. But just in case, I'd like to be you know, kind of ready. And I do that just, right, you know, I don't know, I'm kind of, I got chubby cheeks, so I gotta make a contour. And then I just bring it up by my temples. And under my 
chicken neck. Are you putting towels in the dryer? And then right here, just because I have like a wide tip nose, but this part is pretty narrow and it just widens out, so contour right there. It's just a light contour. I think I really need to get like a shade darker on the bronzer, but it works. And then whatever's left on the brush, I just Okay. Put it all over. Blend everything in. Okay. And then I have my blush physician's formula right there. And it's pink. My blush brush, which I got very, very long time ago from Mary Kay. <laughs> it still works. Just some apples in my cheeks. Not... Not too much, though, because this is just for daily. Blend it. I'm going to take a little bit of highlight, which I just got a CoverGirl, uh, it's called French Vanilla, it's an actual eyeshadow, and uh, I take this fluffy end of this brush I got also at Walmart, and just kind of slightly go in there, There's not much on there at all, let's go right here. done with the clothes in the dishwasher. I mean, close, putting the clothes in the dryer. Okay. And then just take my brush. I'm going to use my powder brush, which is from the Eco Tools or whatever from Walmart. Just a nice big fluffy brush. And blend it all in. It gives me just a little bit of a highlight without being, you know, flat, uh, shiny from the oil. And then I take my powder brush and I just have the CoverGirl's, what is it, professional loose powder. And I just take what's in the lid and go all over to set everything. Even though I'm not going anywhere, I don't want all my makeup just sliding all over the place. I kind of sound like a man because I'm talking kind of low. I promise I'm not a man. Just go all over. There we go. And blend down in the neck. Down so I can see. 
and just tie one. I've never done a tie line before, but um, I like the more natural look. And since I have blonde lashes, uh, it makes them look fuller. I'm not actually doing the waterline, see? I'm just filling in my lashes. I'm gonna give myself a little wing to make my eyes look lifted. See? Hey, that does look good. So. Oh, and this is the Maybelline line style. Very, very thin liner, which I like. It doesn't stay on too good, but. And then a wing. Give my eye that lifted a It does look good. I like it. I'm gonna do a little bit down here. Just this about halfway down. To give my eye that open look. Sorry about that, guys. And then just curl my lashes. <laughs> Thank you, Mama. And then my great lash. Love this mascara. My mom used it for years, and so I did too. I'm not a big fan of the brush, but because it holds a lot of product. And put a coat on Ugh, every time. dry. Well, I put my bottom coat on, which I use the Maybelline Lash Stiletto, and this is an um, G401, which is like a, like a brown color, and I do my bottom lashes in that. If you do too much, then just use your fingers. I use my fingers and just dab it. See? Voila. And the last coat of mascara. Mostly just on the outer corners to give my eye that lifted appearance.
Okay, can I have that? Grab my powder. Thank you. Alright. And clean off the excess. And there we go. There's my everyday, what I want to mean by everyday look. I don't need to do it every day, but. <laughs> I look alive. There's my everyday routine. Bye.